Good evening. Tonight we read from Matthew 5 and Proverbs 4. So, um, what are you open to right now? Matthew, Matthew 5. Uh, I think it was verse 10 that I like. So, can you read that real quick? Absolutely. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Mm. Yeah, that's a cool scripture because it's um, telling the people that what's right won't always be what mm, makes people like you, but it's still going to be the right thing at the end of the day. So you shouldn't sacrifice your honor for um, the acceptance of people who mean no more than you do. That's good. And also, we were just talking about uh, that terrible incident that has been going on all summer, but um, on the Gold Coast, in the Oak Street, and there was this local Chicago rap artist who was targeted and killed. I guess there were a group of them who were coming out of a store, the Magnificent Mile, and yeah, I think one or two cars came up and just, <laughs> and what really had me think about this is conflict resolution. It just keeps on going on and on. You disrespect me, I'm going to get back to you. Then back and forth and back and forth and it never ends. And in verse 24, it talks about, you know, church people, but any type of conflict because young people are watching how adults deal with alts against one another. And it says, if there be an issue, leave there thy gift before the altar and go thy way and first be reconciled to thy brother and then come and offer thy gift. Get it together with your brother, sister, neighbor, coworker, whoever, because there's just so much going on and we have no time to not have peace. Agree with thine adversary quickly. Even though you might not see eye to eye, right? This is the way to peace. And then uh, it says, let your communication be yea, yea, nay, nay. Whatsoever is more than that, you know, cometh evil. So when you, you know, do too much and talk too much and, you know, you said that, in one of his songs, you know, he was disrespecting another, I don't know, gang, what have you. It's just that we have to use wisdom in our communication because um, it's about conflict resolution and it's about peace and we need to come together and um, be led by the Lord. All right, what about in Proverbs? Today's the fourth? Yeah. Uh, I think it was verse seven. Do you know what it was about? It's like the wisest thing to do is to get wisdom. That's basically what basically what it said, and a principal thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's that's just what it says. It's just straightforward like that. Yeah, and in this situation with young people in Chicago just going through so much, that is the principal thing. It never gets outdated. It never gets old, because we really need to have this so that we can know the way of life and it says take fast hold of instruction let her not go guard it secure it keep her because in verse 13 she is thy life and enter not don't go with these crazy people enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men so like i said there were so many people involved in this this is the time for you to be you know alone solitude Get direction from the Lord and cleave to instruction because it's too much going on. All right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have a good evening.